بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم That if a person finds that he is depressed, and we go through these phases in life, sometimes you come from work, sometimes you've got a problem at work, you've got a problem at home, you are going through type of depression. Then many a times you go to the doctor, and what they do, they give you an antidepressant tablet. But let me tell you what is an antidepressant tablet. It is like you go to the mechanic, you're getting a sound on the car. And you go to the mechanic, and you tell him, I'm getting the sound. He checks it out, he says, you know what, no problem. I can't find anything, carry on. The person goes up a few days again, that sound is there. He hasn't found the problem, the solution. He then comes again to the mechanic. The mechanic checks it out, puts it onto the computer, everything, nothing. The third time when he comes to the mechanic, the mechanic says, I can't find but I can show you the solution. And what's the solution? He says, let me drive it, pump up your volume of your, of your radio. You won't hear the sound. Brothers, that is an antidepressant tablet. What we need to look for is find contentment. And to get that contentment, Allah, you will find it. At the feet of the our awliya, the Ahlullah. Said in the company, Ayyuladina Amr, Taqullah, wa kunu ma'as salihin. That, oh, you who have iman, Ittaqullah, fear Allah, and together with that, wa kunu ma'as salihin. Said in the company of those who are truthful, those who recognize with Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So from time and again, especially as we are blessed at how many pious people. And remember, many a time the person would say, in the previous time we were pious people, now we don't find anybody. Can never be possible because this ayat of Allah is after the day of Qiyamah. So Allah has taken it upon Himself that Allah will send in every time and age some pious person where a person will be able to sit in his company and receive some type of uh, sitting in a company alone. You'll find that you'll be able to spiritual, uh, spiritual enhancement. And like I said, sometimes when you go through this depression phase, you go through difficulty, you are tired, you don't know, fatigue, and you just want to be on your own at that moment. Wallahi Azim, try this out. Sit in the room of the light and take the name of Allah. Sit and take the name of Allah. Let your heart take the name of Allah. And then you will see the difference. And inshallah, just for a few minutes, we'll make the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one tasbih of La ilaha illallah. And the tasbih of La ilaha illallah, when the, 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 the ulama makes mention, when a person takes the tasbih in the name of La ilaha illallah, the kalima of La ilaha illallah, you are negating first La ilaha, there is nothing, no ilaha, nothing in the world in the Allah besides Allah. Everything, Razak is Allah, not your business. Ghaffar is Allah, Allah is most forgiving. Allah is Basir, Allah is Hafiz, Allah is Alim, Allah is everything, only Allah. So remove everything from your heart. And then when a person says, In the Allah, you are placing Allah in your heart. And now when a person has Allah in his heart, and the best of places to keep Allah is a person's heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes is talking. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abdalu tiki la ilaha in the Allah. La ilaha illa Allah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Rabbi, salli wa sallim daiman abada, ala habibika qayr khalki kullihimi. La ilaha illa Allah, la ilaha illa Allah, la ilaha illa Allah, la ilaha illa Allah, la ilaha illa Allah. La ilaha illa Allah, 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 la ilaha illa Allah.